Okay, so for today's Retro Bat setup, guys, we're looking at a mysterious folder in your ROM section known as SNES MSU1 or SNES MSU. So, what is SNES MSU? It was a co processor used to enhance particular Super Nintendo games. So, let's say, for example, a Super Nintendo game back in the day was around 2 to 4 megabytes in size. What MSU does is actually expands the size of this to up to 4 gigabyte and it provides a much better sound. And also, some hacks in the community will put new music in with games which they feel the original sounds did suit the game. And it also expands FMV capabilities, so full motion video. So, as we know, the Super Nintendo is pretty dated, and FMV was carrying on with systems such as the 3DO and the CDI. And to some extent, the Super Nintendo was left behind. So nowadays we do have this technology and we can make full motion video on Super Nintendo games look that much better. You're going to see, for example, Star Fox or Star Wing, wherever in the world you are. So if you want really cool sound on Super Nintendo through Retro Bat and improved FMV, check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, before I start today's setup guide for the awesome Retro Bat and MSU1 emulation, hit notifications if you like what you see, stay subscribe and like it, really helps my channel a great deal, plus it gets you up to date retro emulation content as I upload it on my channel. Let me just remind you that it's not just Retro Bat I cover on my channel, but I cover different front end systems as well as a plentitude of standalone emulators for consoles and microcomputers. So we're looking at MSU1 today then, and like I said in the introduction, MSU1 actually caters for up to four gigabyte per game. So what this is gonna do is enhance the sound quality and also allow for FMV within Super Nintendo games. So FMV for full motion video which was very popular in the 1990s. So to test this, I've got the original Street Fighter Alpha 2 game for Super Nintendo, and I've also got the MSU1 version. So if you grab a copy of the MSU1 games, you're likely going to get zip folders. If we take a look in this Street Fighter Alpha 2 zip folder I've got, we've got a folder inside, and I'm going to just drag this onto the desktop. So the contents of this are going to be very different to your average Super Nintendo game. If we take a look inside of what's in this zip folder, we can now delete that zip. If we take a look inside of this one, we're going to find loads of different files. So we've got .pcm files and there's a lot of these. These are your audio files. And we've of course got .smc, which is the actual game itself. Now before I pop this into Retrobat and open it up, let's just go to Retrobat shortcut, right click, open file location, at GUI system list and system now if you don't see this like i'm always going to say in my retrobat setups please follow my fully comprehensive setup guide it's quite likely you're missing a couple of installation files when you originally set up retrobat so provided you have got this list and you can see it what we're going to do is just scroll down and we're going to come across snes msu and here we go, SNES MSU1. As we can see here, the extensions to run SMU games is .smc, .sfc, .bml, and .m3u. So as we know, my Street Fighter Alpha 2 game is actually a .smc file, so that's fine. And we're going to be supported in RetroBat with RetroArch Core SNES 9X, BS SNES, and BS SNES HD Beta. So now we know what we're looking for, what we're going to do is keep inside of the RetroBat directory and just go into ROMs. And in ROMs, we're going to look for MSU. And here it is. You likely come across this folder in the past. You probably not thought nothing of it, but this is really cool. So drag in the MSU1 folder containing all of those files, mainly .pcms. And what we're going to do then is open up RetroBat to check this out. Okay, so we're inside a retro bat, and like I said, I've got the original game here, Super Nintendo section, this is going to be an obsolete, and here is my game, Street Fighter Alpha 2, and I'm going to go to Advanced System Options, Emulator, and as we can see, this one's running from RetroArch SNES 9X Core. If I just open this one up, so we can do a comparison...
Now, whatever, I'm a really bad player at that game, but the point is we heard the sound effects, we heard the music, and of course that version of Street Fighter Alpha 2 on Super Nintendo really struggled, even in its day, it had lots of slow starts in it. So what we're gonna do is head into the MSU1 folder, and my game is already in here, so I'm going to go to View Options, Advanced System, Options, Emulator, and as we can see, this is going to be run in the same core which we just did with Super Nintendo, which is Libretro SNES 9X. So everything's going to be the same on settings. And let's open up the MSU1 version of this game. So as we can hear, that sounds a lot better than the original Super Nintendo version did. Now of course, MSU1 games are primarily designed to enhance audio for Super Nintendo games. We can actually alter how the sound sounds as well through this. So if we go to a few options again within the F MSU1 folder, we can go down to audio and we got lots to play with here. So resampler, we can put this to maybe nearest. Uh, quality, we can have its highest. And if we go down the DSP plugin, we can even change how it sounds. For example, we can have a guitar wow wow effect. But just for this setup guide, I'm going to leave this one to auto. And right at the bottom, we're going to see audio interpolation. So if we go into this one, again, this is going to give you more sound filters. But again, I'm going to leave this one to auto. And next up, I've got Star Fox to show off. So Star Fox for MSU1, it's around 1.5 gigabytes download. It's quite a big file. We look inside of this one again as we can see we got more dot pcms and the one we're looking for to actually run the game with is the game file itself so we need to make sure this has got the correct file so dot sfc that works fine with retrobat so again it's just a case of going into your retrobat directory open file location roms and just scroll down to find snes msu and here we go and just drop this one inside and most of you will know what Star Fox is. Most of you of a certain age would likely have played this one at the time just like I did. So you'll hear a massive difference with Star Fox MSU. So let's just grab some artwork whilst we're here. So main menu, scraper and scrape now. Now it's quite likely these aren't going to scrape because of their naming conventions. So if that's the case, we can actually edit the file. So we'll do that if this scrape fails. And update. And scrape and finish. Yeah. Okay, so we got Star Fox, which is fine. But obviously Street Fighter Alpha 2 hasn't scraped. Let me just show you how to... If we just go back into the retro bat directory. ROMs. And just scroll down again and what i'm about to do you can pretty much do this on every rom or game or whatever you like to call it within retrobat and it's going to work just the same so we're going to look for snes msu again now here's the game which we can't screw this is street fighter alpha 2 if we go in here we need to edit the dot smc that's the game file and if we look at how that's spelled sfa2 that's what we see a retrobat and that's why we can't scrape it so if we just rename this file, so right click on it, show more options, rename. I'm gonna call this one Street Fighter Alpha 2. And then just leave the extension on the end, so it's .smc. And let's open up Retrobat one final time. 
last week is C, Street Fighter Alpha 2. It's now named correctly, so we're going to scrape this again. Main menu, scraper, scrape now. And game settings, update game list, yes. And here we go. We have now got MSU versions, artwork, and preview videos for both of these games. So I'm going to show you Star Fox. So if you know the original version of Star Fox or Star Wing, whichever country you're in, obviously this was given two names around the world, Star Wing and Star Fox, you'll definitely hear an improvement with the sound in this version of Star Fox or Star Wing. Much more clear and it's almost like it's had a complete remaster of music. You also notice that those cutscenes, the FVM scenes, are much smoother and they're not so laggy in jaggy. Okay, so that's it for today's Retrobat setup guide. So hopefully I can get you running some really awesome MSU1 games now, now that you realize what this folder does. So if you've not yet hit subscribe, hit subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss upcoming Retrobat content, which I upload quite often on my channel. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, Stay retro.